MTD networker, EP Precision Engineering in Kimbolton, Cambridgeshire. Now I have to do a video about these guys because it's such a fantastic story. And the machine shop, I've never seen anything like it. So let's go and have a chat with Geary. Thanks for having us along. Now there's three aspects I want to cover. A, background of the company, B, your machines, and then, last but not least, the components. So, Geary, can you give me a little bit of background about EP, please? Yeah, EP Engineering, we've been going for about three years now. We used to get our products manufactured by about four or five different companies, but we decided that um, if we had any quality control issues, we had quite some distance to travel. So we decided to bring everything in-house, and we now make over 600 parts for uh, the Lotus, uh, Lotus Elise. Oh yeah, so the, the company is Elise Parts that you manufacture for? Yes, that's right, yeah. We manufacture for my other company, which is Elise Parts. We do manufacture for other, a few other companies as well, but mostly for Elise Parts. So high precision automotive. So that ties in nicely with the machine shop. And I, I get a hint that you like Herco machines? Yes, we've had Herco from day one. Um, the guys we've got working for us have worked with Herco before that. They were both in the F1 industry um, and convinced me that Herco would be the one to go for. And we've never looked back. They have been very, very good, very reliable, very accurate machines. And programming wise? Very easy. Uh, they use a WinMax system. Um, you can s send DXF files straight to them. Very, very quick, very um, intuitive as well. So very pleased. I was actually chatting with Ed about them earlier. I, I couldn't shut him up to be honest. He was just absolutely raving about them. Yeah, yeah. Ed's worked with Herco, I think for about 20 odd years, I think in total, from his previous company as well. Ed was the first one to convince me that Herco would be the one to go for. Now. The proof then is in the actual components themselves. So you've got yep. a fantastic array here. Yep. So if you could just talk me through a couple of them, please. Yeah, sure. Um, first one is this particular part here, which we make on the Herco live tooling lathe. Um, on a lathe then? Yes, Definitely. this is on a lathe. This is completely made on the, on the live tooling lathe. Uh, it's made from EN24, so it's relatively tough. We have to uh, drill out the middle to save the, uh, save the weight. Um, it has to be very, very accurate because there's three bearing surfaces here as well. Um, it's an internal part of our seven-speed sequential gearbox, which we developed about five or six years ago. The Herco machine takes about two and a half hours from start to finish to actually manufacture this part complete uh, uh, from EN24. Yeah, absolutely yeah. fantastic looking yeah. component and obviously works very well. We've got this particular part, again, something that um, I designed several years ago. Uh, we used to get it made on a normal three-axis um, mill, uh, but I think there was about seven or eight operations using a, uh, a, a three-axis mill. We now make this in uh, three operations per unit on the five-axis. Uh, there's a lot of 3D work that goes on to this particular part. Um, and this, again, it probably takes about two hours from start to finish, but it's a particular product that you can load up the billet and walk away for an hour or so go back and it's uh, made half the part um, and again very very accurate and gives a perfectly good finish uh, to the product as well. Gary I just want to say thank you just the machine shop the components everything is absolutely amazing thank you very much. You're very welcome.